Island, Brittany Encounters is getting started right over here by the Ritz of the Tree of Life. Come on in and hang out with us. Right here are going to be some of the best spots to be. Yeah, all this open space right here, if you want birds flying right over the tops of your head. Now, my name's Keegan. I'm joined by an awesome team of avian trainers and conservationists. We have Grace and Aaron, and then out in the crowd with you, that's Corey and Ashley. And of course, we have the two feathered stars of our show. This is Young's right here behind me, and Buzz over there with Grace. Shout out. Does anybody know what kind of birds these are? Macaws. Yeah, macaws. I also heard parrot. Macaws are a type of parrot. Buzz right here is a scarlet macaw, and Young's right over there is a military macaw. Now, these two just flew in from about a half mile away, and they choose to come out here and land on the roots of the Tree of Life with us because we train these birds using positive reinforcement. And basically what that means is that when they do something that we really like, they get something that they really like in return. No, we don't speak their language, they don't speak ours, but we do know what they like to eat. Yeah, that usually comes in the form of a nutshell. That's basically our way of saying thank you and hopes that they do that behavior again and again in the future. Now, positive reinforcement can work on animals as small as a cockroach to as big as a blue whale. It also works on families, friends, coworkers, significant others. And you just gotta figure out what's most reinforcing for that individual. Now, as absolutely beautiful as these birds are, we love working with them every single day, but none of us go home to a macaw in a household. They make extremely challenging pets. You can see how big their beaks are here. Those beaks are constantly growing, and they're really powerful. They need to wear them down on anything and everything, and that's actually part of our job, is we create things for them to destroy all day long. But in the four walls of your home, they're going to be chewing on your iPhone, your dining room table, your fingers. Yeah, anything that they can get a hold of destroyed in a matter of seconds. Also, you probably heard them as they were flying and screaming. That's just a fraction of how loud these birds can be. In the four walls of your home, that's going to be the alarm clock with no snooze button. Also, it's not unheard of for birds like this to live decades on end, making a lifelong commitment. So it's great that you can come to places like Disney's Animal Kingdom to get your parrot fixed. But keep your home's parrot free. Now, for those of you just walking by, this is Winged Encounters. Come on in and hang out with us. Fill in all of this open space right here, because you're going to want to have your phones and cameras up. You're not going to want to miss what's coming up next. Now, as I mentioned, these are just two different species of macaw. We actually work with eight different species of macaw every single day. And one in particular is really special to us. It's called the blue-throated macaw. And they're one of the rarest species of macaw left out in the wild. And in the country of Bolivia, where they're native to, there are fewer than 500 blue-throated macaws left out there in the wild. That's it. And out of those 500 blue-throated macaws, only 100 of them are nesting pairs. And that's due to things like deforestation, which is leading to their habitat loss, and the illegal pet trade. But it's not all bad news, because we partnered with an organization called the World Parrot Trust. And their goal is to breed these blue-throated macaws so that we can release them out to meet up with that small, smaller wild population to boost up their numbers, to save critically endangered species, beautiful birds just like these, and skies that look a little bit like this. Enjoy the rest of your adventures here at Disney's Animal Kingdom. 